Hi, my name's Neil Bubke. I'm Maddie Modrinsky. And I'm Anna. And we are proud to present this evening's musical, Table for 5,000, The Miracle of the Loaves and Fishes. We've been working on this production for about eight weeks, mm -hmm. and we've taught all of the music virtually at our Wednesday night rehearsals. After that, families and other, uh, in one case, neighbor kids, <laughs> shot their scenes at home and then emailed us the videos. After we received them, we spliced them all together. And what we ended up with is what we're gonna share with you tonight. It's uh, for sure, unlike any other church musical you've seen before. That is true. I'm so excited. T tonight, after we view Table for 5,000, we are going to um, give away some awards. So I just Ooh. wanted to let you know what some of the awards will be so that if you'd like to text me who you'd like to nominate for any of these awards, you can do so. The Mobleys, weren't we going to call them? Well, what do you think? <laughs> should, we, should we call uh, the Mamos? The, the Mamo oh, Awards. The Mamo Awards. That's better. So here are the award categories. Best oh. background scenery. Ooh. Best use of props. Best female dramatic delivery. Ooh. Best male dramatic delivery. Best female comedic delivery and male comedic delivery. Love it. Best male and female choreography. Best costumes. Best vocals. And most valuable player. Oh, an MVP. MVP. Wow. So if you have any ideas about that, you can text your nominations to 414-331-2691. That's 414-331-2691. All right. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Yay! for it's cool in the furnace. That was one of the best shows we'd ever prepared here, and it doesn't look like we're gonna get to do it this year. It Man, so that stinks. I mean, I guess all we should do is sit around and feel sorry for ourselves this summer. Probably. Neil. Yes, I Maddie? have a brilliant idea. What? Why would we put on a virtual musical? That's a good idea. A what? A virtual musical. How would that work? Well, a virtual musical is basically you take a musical, you split it into plenty of parts, you get a whole entire cast, and you send those parts to them. They film the parts at their house, they send them to you, you get a video editor, you splice them there, and you have a virtual musical. That sounds like an awful lot of technology. Well, hey, Neil, you got a millennial in your presence. Two millennials. <laughs> okay, do you guys want to go take a look at the technology and yeah, the drinks and see if we can make it work? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Come on, Neil, let's check out Soundbook and Back to Sanctuary. Okay. So what do we all have in here? Well, we have three screens. What? A soundboard. Good heavens, look at all these buttons. Don't be scared, it's just a little technology. Oh my gosh. Well, but you guys, even if we could figure out the technology for a virtual musical, I can't think of another show to do. We've done David and Goliath and Daniel and the Lion's Den and Jonah and the Whale. 
I don't think there are really any left. Well, Pastor Matt is doing a series on encountering Jesus. Isn't there something we could do? What about a table for 5,000? The miracle of loaves and fishes. Ooh, I've heard that's a really good one with catchy tunes. We've never done it here before, and it would be a perfect way to celebrate Pastor Matt's sermon series. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Anna? I think that's a great idea. I'm still feeling a little bit scared about the idea. Well, you know, I feel like as long as you do it with a happy heart and a good sense of humor, God is gonna love it. All right, let's give it a try. Let's do it! We better get started! everybody everything's gonna be okay are you sure trust me Riley I'm the producer of the show well if you say so you know what might help if we pray like we do before rehearsal all right all right please join us as we pray Lord we thank you that you're here Lord we thank you that you're here please help us to present your story so everybody watching us so everybody watching us will see you will see you amen country where Jesus was teaching and healing, there was a child named Benjamin, the youngest in his family. And when he was a, with his sisters and brothers and their friends, he felt even younger. Hey everybody, what's going on? He's almost here, we're going to see him. Who? The great rabbi, Jesus, don't you know anything? <laughs> Jesus is coming. 
we got to look our best. Benjamin knew he wasn't big or important like Jesus, or even a friend of Jesus. Still, he thought maybe if he just watched from a distance, no one would notice. So he went to go see Jesus by himself, but when he went to go make his lunch, the only food left were a few small loaves of bread and a couple of fish. It would have to do. When Benjamin got to the place where Jesus was preaching, he saw a huge crowd was gathering. Quietly, he crept to one side and sat down. The people in the group around him didn't look very important. They looked weak and poor and lost. In fact, they looked just like him. And then Jesus began to preach and said words that Benjamin would never forget. The world may say you're in last place, but in God's eyes, you're first. Do you feel like you're carrying a heavy burden? Come to me. My burden is light, and I'll carry it with you. Do people say you're meek? Be happy. The meek will inherit the earth. If you hunger to be first, if you're craving to be best, be as humble as a child, be a servant to the rest. As the morning passed slowly, Jesus continued to speak. Finally, at lunchtime, there was a pause as people in the crowd got out their food. Benjamin was too excited to eat. Did you like the preaching today? Yeah, I thought he was amazing. I thought so too. I wish we were old enough to follow him. Maybe you are. Maybe you are. No, you're too little. Besides, all the people with him are probably uh, strong and smart and good. <laughs> What's so funny? I know something about the people who followed Jesus. One of them was a tax collector that everyone hated. Really? Yeah. I know of a woman who was weak and, weak and sick until Jesus healed her. Now she follows him everywhere. Wow, I thought they would be like heroes or something. Like Moses and David. Yeah, well, Moses wasn't always a great prophet. Once he was a little baby. Who watched over him? Miriam! I'll be Miriam! 
Moses was a baby in the Nile, and even though his sister was a child, she helped protect her brother secretly, so later he could set his people free. Moses, Moses. Every hero was once a child who needed help along the way. They stood without the Lord, the Spirit filled them when they prayed. There is one road, one road, one road to all success. When God calls, God calls, God calls, say yes. David, the mighty ruler on his throne, was once a shepherd boy who found a stone. And when the Lord commanded, he obeyed, and so he brought a giant down that day. David, 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 David. Every hero was once a child who needed help along the way. They were not strong without the Lord. The Spirit took them when they prayed. There is one road, one road, one road. When God calls, God calls, God calls, say yes. You see, even great people of God just started out as ordinary people, just like you and me. And they're the kind of people who follow Jesus. So all those people around him are like us? Which one is the tax collector? You? The name is Zacchaeus. And I'm Nathan from the town of Magdala. Jesus healed me. We all follow him. So don't give up. I bet he has something for you to do. Just be ready to say yes. After lunch, Jesus continued to preach. In fact, he preached on and on. Finally, the sun was getting low in the sky, and some of his disciples said to him, Boy, these people are getting hungry. We should send them away. Then why don't you feed them? The disciples were shocked. There were over 5,000 people in the crowd. It would take a ton of money to buy dinner for all of them. But then Jesus said, Go, see how much food we have. <laughs> hey guys, over here. Do you have anything for us? <laughs> we willingly hand out our wealth as soon as we have served ourselves. How about you guys? We gladly offer our supplies that they won't feed a crowd this size. Hey, leftovers? I'm sure we share if we could see who else is giving food for free. We'd be first to heed the call, but I'm afraid we ate it all. We'd like to give, we really would. We'd give it freely if we could. So you see, we're sad to say you'll have to ask another day. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. So you see, we're sad to say you'll have to ask another day. <laughs> Before we give, why don't you ask us what we give them poor in taxes? Oh, we are really quite upset that we can't live because of debt. You know we donate all our stuff, but it just isn't good enough. I would like a guarantee what's in this giving thing for me. We'd love to give, we really would. We'd give it freely if we could. 
so you see we're sad to say we'll have to ask another day. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. So you see we're sad to say you'll have to ask another day. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. So you see we're sad to say we'll have to ask another day. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Five little pieces of bread. Two fish. For 5,000 people? Sorry, I don't think so, kids. Just a minute, John. Didn't Jesus ask us how much food we had? Yes, he did. Well, this is what we have. Come on, kids. Take it to him. You kids go with your daddy. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. okay. So the disciples took Benjamin's lunch to Jesus. Benjamin waited anxiously. When the great teacher saw the little pieces of bread and fish, would he laugh too? If you hunger to be first, if you're craving to be best, be as humble as a child, be a servant to the rest. had the crowd sit down and he took the bread and blessed it as the crowd watched expect him. Take the bread, give thanks above, take the bread and share his love. So little bread, what can he do? Take the loaves and break them too. Four more times. Keep on going till we're done. Till there's food for everyone. Look, we've got bread, lots of it. Take as much as you want. Yeah, and pass it on. The disciples passed out baskets of bread to the crowd. As people received them, they took some bread, passed them on to each other. Eventually, everyone had bread and was eating. strange was happening. The baskets began to fill. How could there be more food than one they started out with? But they could see it was true. There was too much bread and fish left to ignore. There's more and more and more and more and more. Arithmetic in heaven can often be surprising for as we count the baskets left we see the number rising then jesus said i am the bread of life anyone who comes to me will never go hungry
filled with the joy of a holy surprise. Oh, we are missing the master's supplies. Congratulations, everybody! Yay! Bravo! We did it! We, we loved did it. it! Oh, Gail! We are super proud of everybody who is in the show, and we can't wait uh, to view it again. It's going to be available on our church YouTube channel. So, if you want to invite your grandpas and grandmas, and your neighbors, and your teachers from school to watch, they'll be able to uh, view it there. So, before we go on to the MAMO Awards, I'd like to just ask you to send me any questions you might have for Anna, Maddie, or me. In the meantime, I'm going to introduce Elliot Hatch. Come on Yay! up, Elliot. Woo! So, Elliot is the producer who took all the itty bitty clips and put them together into one coherent whole. Wow. So let's give Elliot a hand. Yay! Woo! So Elliot, tell us just a little bit about how this process worked. Uh, so uh, basically we got all the footage from everybody. Uh, and Mr. Bubkey was able to put them into folders, which was very uh, helpful, kind of categorize it. But um, a lot of it was just many hours figuring out like whose line goes where and just kind of going line by line with the script and making sure we have all the pieces filled in with all the clips that were submitted. So it was a bit tedious at times, but I ended up really enjoying it. Yeah. So it wouldn't have been nearly as scary if it was spoken dialogue. But with regard to the, with the songs, you had to time it so carefully so that it sounded like one continuous song. How did you do that? Uh, I was able to separate the um, audio tracks from each uh, recording and just like actually line up um, specifically on the recordings uh, where they are on the song so that it kind of matches the tempo from the prior clip and it sounds as smooth as possible. Mm. So what, uh, what program did you use to, to do this editing? Uh, this was done in uh, the Adobe Premiere Pro uh, program, which is uh, pretty good software. If there are any kids at home who are kind of interested in starting to make their own movies, would you be open to having them contact you? Uh, I, I am generally pretty busy, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in, in all but honesty, maybe. though... though I mean, uh I, I will throw out just the piece of advice, like uh, if you have an idea, just create it. There's no reason to not do it, and eventually, you know, you might have something that you, you want to share with everybody else. So yeah, and there's also so many hours worth of stuff on YouTube tutorials. Like, there's really no reason not to create something. I have a question. Where did you learn how to do this? How did you learn these like these skills is this something you taught yourself like did you take a class at school yeah um a lot of it was self-teaching um because i make films like outside of sure. uh, like commission works and such and so um 
uh, yeah, just a lot of self-teaching over the years, and it's gotten me to a point where I'm pretty uh, uh, well-versed in, like, different softwares and such. Sure. Very cool, very cool. Self-taught. All right. Well, I've got a few questions that have come in from our viewers. Uh, one question from uh, Claire Odie. Did people send the videos in with the green screen backgrounds and stickers, or did you put them in? Oh. Yeah, um, that was something called masking, where you basically cut out part of the existing video, which is like people singing, and then you're able to um, just put a video behind them. Though recording everybody on a green screen probably would have been cool, put anything we want back uh -huh. there. But yeah. Let's see if we've got another question. Oh, this is a great question coming from Riley Murphy. He's wondering between Mr. Neal and Elliot, how long did it take to put the virtual musical together? Well, I think we can answer that in a few different parts. Um, Anna and Maddie, we probably did the rehearsals for how long? Eight weeks. About eight weeks? Yeah. Um, maybe about eight weeks. and. Before the rehearsals, uh, we got together to choreograph and to learn the music ourselves mm -hmm. uh, so that we wouldn't be buried in our scores. So I would say the outside prep time plus the actual live stream rehearsals would have been uh, probably around 20 hours. Then the um, video sh shooting and compilating um, on my end, I would say probably took between 30 and 40 hours. Mm. Um, and then Elliot, to, to edit them and splice them together, how much did that take? I was actually able to check because I kind of thought that this might come up. Uh, it was almost exactly 12 hours after each uh, edit and export, so about 12 hours to edit wow. the entire thing. 12 hours, that's pretty fast. That's uh, not bad. Yeah, I that's wish I could well, do Combined that. over multiple days, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Let's see if we are ready to do our... Oh, this is a great question. From your uncle. Elliot, how late were you up the night before the first deadline? Um, pretty, uh, pretty late. Uh... <laughs> and how, about, how late were you up last night? Uh, even later. <laughs> I can answer that because I talked to his dad today. 4 a.m. Oh, geez. Wow. Uh, next question. How did we get everyone to sing together? That's a question from Evelyn Edwards. Well, that's a tricky one. What we did is we provided everybody with a background accompaniment so that if they followed along with the instruments, their voices would be in the time that they were supposed to be in with the music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good question. All right, I think it's time for the MAMO Awards. Let me just look here. I've got to check and get all of... Yes, yes. Okay, I think I've got them all. So, here we go. The May Mobley Awards. Let's do it. Best background scenery goes to... Riley Murphy, Yay! who hauled his boat down to the lakefront. That, yeah, that was, was not very... a computerized image. That was really Riley down on Lake Michigan that was for very his impressive. opening scene. Best use of props. Jacob, George, and Izzy Donovan using Yay! live fish. Using live fish from yes. Jacob's fishing hole. Yeah, that was awesome. Best female dramatic delivery. Ooh. There is a tie uh, for this one. Ooh. Best female dramatic delivery of a line. <laughs> Lizzie Liebeck Smoke Yay! and Lauren Duncan. Woo! Best male dramatic delivery of a line oh goes to Cooper Gundrum. Yay, Cooper! The best male comedic delivery goes to... Pastor Matt! 
Pastor Yay, Matt Hadley! Man. Best male choreography? Nathan and Zachary Berg! Woo! Best female choreography? Sue Dory! Yay! Best male costume. This was a tough one because we had a lot of great you costumes. You did have a lot of great costumes. But the one who came out ahead <laughs> was John Donovan. Yay! For those of you who don't know, John was the man who put shaving cream on his head <laughs> because Jesus was coming and he was wanting to look, look his, his best. best. Well done, John Donovan. Best female costume goes to Melanie Berg. Woo! We're not sure if that was a Princess Leia from Halloween's past or something you just came up with, but it sure was striking. Best female vocals. We've got a tie for that. Uh, the best female vocals go to, hold on just a second. Mamo needs a little water. Keep the drum roll going. <laughs> we'll just keep drum roll until he gets back. Best female vocals. Keep going. Ah! Go to. Go to. Harper Bear and Anina Wines. Woo! Go Harper, go Nina. Awesome. Next up, best tenor vocals. John Hoyleman, Yay! ladies and gentlemen. Best baritone vocals. Dan Montague, who played the role of Jesus. Woo! And finally, we've got our MVPs, Ooh. our most valuable players. And we've got five of them here, starting with Maddie Madrinsky, Yay! Anna Van Newlin, <laughs> Elliot Hatch. Woo! Tim Karth, our Woo! sound guy, and Mary Paul, our live stream engineer. Yay! I've got flowers that we're going to distribute after, but sure. for now, you hold those and you hold those. Aww. We're so glad that you guys took the time to participate in Table for 5,000. And like Miss Anna said in the musical, so long as we did it with a happy heart and a good sense of humor, we knew that God would be pleased uh, because we think that it saddens God that we can't come together as a church family. Mm -hmm. And so anything we can do to help each other feel connected as a church and to be thinking about God and Jesus is pleasing in the eyes of the Lord. So praise be to God and thanks to all of you Yay! who put your heart and soul into Table for 5,000. Yay! We'll see you later. Bye!